right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the beta build of Signage Mod 9 ice cream sandwich on the Motorola Photon 4G. A lot more is working now, while well, at least the camera's working for sure. Pretty much the only thing that isn't working is WiMAX, of course. Um, you do need an unlock bootloader to install this. I do have a video showing you how to install it in case you want to watch that. I'll link to that in the description of the video, so definitely check that out. Um, you can't watch YouTube videos in low quality. Uh, other than that, pretty much nothing else doesn't work. <laughs> Double negative. But anything, anyways, pretty much everything works. Uh, you might run into a couple bugs here and there, but generally everything should just about work. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the review video. In case any of you guys are wondering, I am using a fly grip on my Photon. A lot of you guys have been asking me. I do have one and it works great. I love having it on my Photon. Don't even come close to dropping it now that I do have it. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and jump into it. As I said, camera works. I will be getting into that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and do a full review. So this is the beta build. You got your stock ice cream sandwich launcher. You do have some tweaks to it as well. Uh, stock notification bar as well, stock ice cream sandwich. Um, you got your blue kick, blue clock right up there. You got your blue battery icon. Uh, you got your signal bars as well as your nice uh, 3G icon letting you know you got 3G working. Um, uh, you got notifications as well. Let's go ahead and swipe down. You have the basically black, uh, dark tinted. It is a little bit see-through, uh, not majorly see-through. Uh, it says Awesome Club right there. <laughs> Anyways, you got your CM9 power widgets right up at the top. Um, you can customize those. I'll get to that in a little bit. Got notifications right here. As you can see, I got a couple updates available uh, as well as 80 new emails. Awesome. Uh, most of those are uh, YouTube comments. I'll get to those in a little bit. So in case you are uh, waiting on a response to one of your comments, I will hopefully get to those tonight. But anyways, a nice little feature of Ice Cream Sandwich is that you, if you only want the 80 new messages there and you don't want the updates to show, just swipe it away. And there you go. Now you only got one up there. You can minimize it and it'll still be there. So that's really great that you can do that. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. App drawer. Uh, you got your apps side to side swiping, uh, which is great. You got your widgets as well. Many different widgets. Many Ice Cream Sandwich widgets. As you can see, everything is running smooth, quickly. No lag at all when going through applications or home screens. So that is really great. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but that's really great. Anyways, um, some other things I wanted to go through is the settings. So let's go ahead and go to System Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone. And as you can see, Android version 4.0.3. Tap it repeatedly and you get a little hidden feature. Um, I'm not going to show you guys, but definitely check that out. Just really quickly tap that. Signage Mod version 9, right there, of course. But anyways, other things, it does have uh, signage mod tweaks. You got some launcher settings right here. You, you can set the amount of home screens. If you only use a certain amount, uh, you can basically set the amount and set with the default screen you want. You got some transition effects as well, so mess with those. You got drawer settings being transition effects as well. Um, dock and icons, you don't have any. General settings, you can have it auto-rotate rotate the home screen. So if I wanted the home screen to auto-rotate, I can check that, as you can see rotates with those nice screen animations. Let's go back into the settings. You got uh, some system settings as well. Themes is just a placeholder, so that will hopefully be ported over sometime soon to CM9. Anyways, you got some uh, system settings, combined bar settings. You've got notification settings, which is where those notification widgets are at. Widget buttons right here. Um, as you can see, you got a bunch of different options, brightness, uh, etc. You got uh, orientation. Let's try and add one. So let's try, let's see if I want to add um, toggle mobile data. So let's check that. And up at the top, as you can see, mobile data is toggled right there. So it brings that up. If I want to get rid of it, I'll uncheck it and it should uh, disappear from up there. As you can see, it's all gone. You can also change the order. Just go to widget button order and you can mess around with the order. Just press this on the left and you can change the order if you would like to. So that's really great that uh, Sign Engine Mod allows those tweaks. You've got uh, status bar tweaks with the clock, AM, PM style, uh, battery status as well. Lock screen, uh, nothing yet. And you got your wallpapers, of course. Speaking of lock screens, something I know everyone uh, wants to check out would be the face unlock. It does work because camera does work. So let's go to security, go to lock screen. I haven't tried it yet, so this will be the first time doing it. Let's go to lock screen and uh, screen lock. And as you can see, face unlock right there. So select it and basically uh, you look at your phone and it unlocks it. So let's go ahead and set it up. I'm going to get this camera on an angle where it works and I can demonstrate it for you guys. 
Okay, so here we go. I got it out of the way so it can see my face and not the camera. So let's go ahead and set it up. Find an indoor spot, not too bright, not too dim. I'm in actually a pretty dimly lit room at the moment. But anyways, let's just go ahead and try it. So I'm gonna hit continue. So starting up, as you can see, you basically put your face in this circle. I hope you can see the dots around it. Um, I should probably look straight at it. So wow, that loaded very quickly actually. That was very interesting how fastly that, how fastly, how quickly that captured my face. But let's hit continue. And then afterwards, you can either do a pin unlock or a pattern unlock. I'm going to do pattern. I'm going to hit next. So let's just do an L. So pattern recorded. Hit continue. Let's do it again. Another L. So if any of you guys take my phone, you can actually get into it. You know my, uh, my lock code. Anyways, you're all done. Now let's go ahead and try it. So let's go ahead and unlock my phone with my face. So it, you put your face in the circle. Wow, that actually worked very well. Let's try it once more. See if I can get it twice in a row. Oh man, that is crazy. See, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this is by far the best ice cream sandwich CM9 build on any Sprint device. I know it's not out for a lot. You got an Alpha on the Epic 4G, you got an Alpha on the Evo 3D, um, a, a really pre Alpha on the Epic 4G Touch, but. Of course, so th there's not really many working builds yet, but it's even faster than the ice, ice cream sandwich on the Nexus S 4G, which is really great. Um, it, I really, really like it. It works very well. It runs smoothly. You got pretty much everything working. Of course, the actual camera itself is working as well. As you can see, I can take a, a picture of my keyboard if I wanted. So let's snap a picture real quick. Flash works as well. So that's great. Anyways, let's go ahead and adjust the camera real quick. Okay, so as you can see, front-facing camera works, back camera works. Um, I demonstrated that for you guys. Of course, you got your ice cream sandwich phase beam wallpaper going on. Some other notable things, you got your, uh, your grouping option. So if I want to drop the market application on my camera, it'll basically create a group right there. Well, pick it up, and you got a folder, which is actually pretty nice that you can do that. Another thing is the widgets. You have scrollable and resizable widgets. Let's put it on another home screen. Drops those there. Um, browser, let's go ahead and sign in to the browser. Anyways, I'm going to press, it, let it go, uh, pick it up and drop it back down. You'll see some dots around it. You can resize it now. So let's say if that's how I want to do it, I'll just tap out of it or press the back arrow. And it's scrollable as well. So you have a scrollable widget, which is really great. I know another thing that everyone wants to check out is the Chrome browser. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the market. It should show up now because your device is now... Um, ice cream sandwich, but let's go ahead and type in Chrome. Whoop, didn't accept that yet. So let me uh, search for Chrome. Whoop, if I knew how to spell. So there we go. So search up Chrome. I'm on 3G right now, so it'll be abysmally slow, but let me go ahead and let this load up. Okay, I couldn't take it anymore, so I connected to my Wi-Fi. It took forever to load on 3G. I get awful 3G speeds anywhere I go in my area. <laughs> but anyways, Chrome beta shows up. As you can see, I'm installing it as we speak. So I'm gonna let it download and install, and I will be back. All right, so it's done installing. Um, I, from what I hear, it actually, some people have had issues on previous builds of this. So let's go ahead and see if it works. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go ahead and sign in to Chrome, and there we go. So it seems like it opens up just fine. So let's go ahead and try google.com. So google.com. And that would load it up real nice. Oh, it forced closed. So there you have it. Chrome must, um, you probably have some issues with Chrome, but you can get a good look at it. But stock browser works great. So don't no need to worry about that. Uh, stock browser works wonderfully. The stock browser is really great on Ice Cream Sandwich, as you can see. Uh, not too many issues with Pinsoom right there. But you've, of course, got your carousel, recent apps carousel going on. If you want to exit out of one, just swipe it away. If you want to go to one, just press on it. So that's actually really nice uh, that you can do that. Stock ice cream sandwich uh, dialer right here, as you can see. So you got that going on. Other than that, that's pretty much about it for your uh, ice cream sandwich build. You got other little features going in there that you'll find out. But it's actually really great. Uh, everything's running what very well. Another thing I wanted to show you guys when you uh, do the face unlock, if it doesn't recognize your face after a certain amount of time, says couldn't find a face, then you do your pin. So... Let's do my L. So there you have it. Um, that would be a very quick review um, of the 
Signage Mod 9 beta build, ice cream sandwich build on your Motorola Photon 4G. I will keep you updated as more uh, builds come. Most likely an official stable build as this pretty much has everything working. So I will keep you updated though. So be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.